Yes, welcome to the Jamaica Young Police Channel. To our loyal viewers, subscribers and Patreon members. At the channel, we are a group of law-abiding citizens who believe in the rule of law and respect the rights of every citizen. But not the ones who do not subscribe to such behavior. We do believe in and support preemptive strikes because they save lives. This is a logical conclusion because preemptive strikes save lives and prevent the further loss of lives. We are all about saving lives at this channel. We at the channel aid criminals with a passion and do not want them over here. We do not want your views, your subscriptions, your likes or your comments. Please go elsewhere where the red carpet is waiting for you. Over here, we want you to go to prison or the departure lounge at Madden. Moving on to today's video. Yes, they said the people ask and we deliver. So, United for Change, combating crime pandemic in Jamaica with Politics Watch, with its orator, Sir P. In NOR, it is often portrayed in movies, especially within karate movies, that a lone individual can single and emerge victorious. However, it's essential to recognize that this notion is merely an illusion. It's not real. So, you know, those of you who used to watch um, karate with David Chang, Jackie Chang, Carter Wang, John Lu, and all these people, one man, you know, fighting sometime all the army in a karate show and win. That can't happen in a real life. Because one man cannot fight um, a war and win physically. You understand? Because after a while, that person is going to get tired and your enemy is going to devour you. So that's why you need an army to destroy another army. You understand? And you need the best of the best in the army to do such thing. Yes, so you understand? So you can't single and emerge victorious. So, however, it is essential to recognize that this notion is merely an illusion. You know, people's uh, figment of imagination. So that's what the Chinese, them, create to make black people think, say, ah, uh, yes, you understand. You remember the Shaw Brothers? Them have some nice karate movie, you know. And guess what? We as black people, we fall in love with these characters back in the 80s, yes. Janet Lowe, David, David Chang, Carter Wang, um, Wang Yu, and, you know, yeah, and, and, you know, it, all, there's so many characters from back then. And you know, you have the silver fox and all these things in this movie. But you know, everything in it is a figment of their imagination because no single person cannot single and they defeated a army or to kill so many people physically. You understand? So that's why I would say, boy, when combating crime, you know, when combating crime, pandemic in Jamaica, we firmly believe in the power of togetherness. Yeah, man. So this is where Sir P at Politics Watch enter the picture. And we cannot, uh, we cannot think of another blogger in regards to, you know, in this fight. Because every, every other blogger, they do their things totally different. Because you have to understand that, you know, we're not policing we're not policing the other bloggers then, but when they come on to really taking the bull by the arm, yeah, Sir P is really up there and thing because you have to understand, you know, that the problem in Jamaica, you know, as I've told the people before, you know, it's not the little boy that firing the guns, you know. It's the sixty three people who are in parliament. Yes. And not only them alone, you know, but you know, but that's where the problem really that's the where the problem lies. So that's where we need all hands on deck so that's why we say over here we, we say team jamaica yeah we don't care about a political party in a glp or in a pmp but we care about the guys or the girls who's willing to give us back our country because the people are tired they are tired of these people you know having them living like hostages in their own country so at Politics Watch, we have been astound astounded by the dedication and com commitment showcased by Sir P in his relentless pursuit of justice. We may not agree on everything, but at least we can agree on some things. And the thing is that 
we hate criminal with a passion. I say me I don't care which political party a guy support. But I say me, when it come on to criminals, I hate them with a passion. I don't care which party the criminals represent. You understand? So we firmly believe that addressing these grave issues requires the joint effort of every person willing to contribute. So we proudly announce that we are ready and willing to collaborate with Sir P covertly ensuring our actions have a lasting impact. And we say we can't, uh, can um, work with him covertly. We're talking about these players, you know, like the Adonai and the, and the Skendan, those guys who are involved in criminality and funding people who are funding and supporting people who are, you know, taking others' lives, killing other people. So we want to make sure that we can take away that financial revenue from them by using the resources that we have together. So, you know, this collaboration has nothing to do with YouTube. This is outside of YouTube. It's to make sure that we deny all of these guys the access to the international market by just allowing them, them to stay in their space in Jamaica so that they cannot get to travel and make money so that they can continue to destroy people's lives. And we're talking Adonai and the other guy that Sir P was talking about, the killing of Walford and Skendang. Yeah, the, the rear admiral guy. Yes, man. So are you ready to join forces with us? Together we can tackle this crime pandemic head on. Our channel shall serve as a platform for unveiling the intricacies of crime situation in Jamaica. Highlighting the pressing need for change. By coming together, we have the potential to make a difference and safeguard our communities. Stay tuned as we reveal the details of our collaborative end endeavor. We must unite to combat this crime epidemic and in initiate a positive transformation. Yeah, so we want all of you to become an integral part of this noble cause. Uniting for a safer Jamaica, joining force with politics watch. Yeah, so welcome to Sir P, official YouTube channel at politics watch. So we are thrilled to extend an invitation to all of our uni viewers, subscriber and Patreon members who have expressed their desire to work together. So this is something that has been in the making for some time now. Um, you know, when people were saying that um, divided, divided we fall and united we stand. You know, or united we stand, divided we fall. And I know that that's, that's really resonates with us because in the fight against crime, it has to be all and on, on deck. Sometimes, and look, in life, if, if someone agree with you all the time, something is really wrong with you. You understand? But as we, yeah, we don't want to bars no guy. We don't care about no guy and them thing and a political party. Because from your crime producer and beneficiary of criminality, yeah, we are going to call you out. We don't want, you understand? And we don't care which political party you represent. Because we, it's just all about Team Jamaica. That's what it's all about for us here at the Jamaica Young Police Channel. Yeah, so, you know, we're just all about, we just want a safer and a better Jamaica for, for the people. Because most of the people in Jamaica, they are living like hostages. So as we embark on our mission to create a safer Jamaica, we recognize that a single individual cannot overcome the immense challenge of combating criminals. It requires a united, collaborative effort from all of us. Our ultimate goal is to restore peace, harmony, security and happiness to every law-abiding citizens in this beloved nation we call Jamaica. Yeah, them so out of many, we are one. We come like, boy, I'm not even out of many, this thing is. Come like, I just out of one, we are none. Because there's just one set of people that kill people, you know, it's black people. So, join, so join, join us on this transformative journey as we dedicate ourselves to reclaiming our beautiful country from those threatening its prosperity. Together, we can put the criminals on the back foot and ensure every citizen can live without fear. So we, you know, so we at the Jamaica Young Police Channel, we refuse 
to be mere bystanders in the fight against crime. With your active participation and support, we will make a lasting impact. We are sending a strong message that the Jamaican people will no longer tolerate criminal activities. Stay tuned for engaging and informative content as we delve into the heart of our nation's challenges and explore vi viable solutions. We invite you to engage in meaningful discussions, share your insights and participate in the positive change we strive to achieve. So thanks for your unwavering support and we look forward to embarking on this empowering journey with every one of you. Join forces with Politics Watch today to build a safer Jamaica for ourselves and the future generation. So you know, defending a better island, unite against crime and injustice. You know, in life, it takes a mature individual to extend their hand to those they believe can contribute to the fight for a safer island. We are criminals, we are criminal constantly fear losing their lives rather than the law-abiding citizens. While we may not always see eye to eye on every matter, what unites us is our sheer abhorrence for criminals and those who violate other people's human rights. So yeah, one thing with us and Sir Piat politics, we hate criminal with a passion. We don't care who is the guy. You understand? But you know, we at Jamaica Young Police Channel, we go all the way out. We need us, you understand? And we don't. When we are, when we attack, we don't do our thing covertly. We just do it overtly and make people know who we are talking about. Because we don't, we are not beholden to any guy, you know. And the guy can't say that them buy away and all of these things. As they have tried before and they have failed on so many occasions. Because we are not for sale. And, you know, to each his own. But the fight against crime need all hands on, on deck. And we can do this together. As we say, covertly. It don't have to be nothing, you know, we're not going to, you know, we're not collaborating on a channel and anything like that. This is totally different. This kind of collaboration. Yes, it's going to be covertly. So people don't even know what we're doing. So he knows how to reach us at the Jamaica Young Police Channel via Instagram. And by doing that, then we can get the ball rolling to get some action and deal with these people. Because when you're submitting certain things to a certain agency, you need certain evidence that you can produce, you understand, to get the thing done. So the video serves as an art, heartfelt outreach to you as we move into, as we move into January 2024. We aspire to create a community that fosters unity and strength, aiming to build a better crime-free island. You'll find a wide range of engaging content in our channel dedicated to our collective fight against crime and injustice. We explore various aspects of criminal activities, discuss practical strategy for safeguarding our communities and shed light on stories of individuals who have bravely stand up, for, stand up against injustice. By joining us on this journey, you become an integral part of growing a movement to transform our island into a place where everyone can live without fear. Together, we have the power to make a significant impact and pave the way for a better future. So, you can take the advantage of every opportunity to stay informed and empowered. Let's stand united against crime and injustice as we work towards building a safer, fairer, and more harmonious, harmonious society. Thanks for joining us, and together let's defend a better island. So, taking a stand fighting for crime for the, Jama for the people of Jamaica, exposing violent producers, collaborating with Sir Peter Tate down Jamaican killers. In this powerful video, United Against Violence, exposing and disrupting dangerous producers of crime. We address oppressing issues that demand immediate attention. Together with Sir P, our mission can take a stand against those violent producers who have been tragically claiming innocent Jamaican lives. Through this video, we shed light on their dark operations and utilize the resources at our fingertips to bring justice 
they will no longer be allowed to victimize others freely as we expose them publicly and take action against their unthinkable deeds. Our crucial aspect, we focus on it in the connection between Skengdan and the known killer, Termite. Armed um, with this information, it become our responsibility to collaborate and hinder these killers from financial gain, preventing, preventing further harm to others. So join us in this crucial fight against violence by watching, sharing and spreading awareness. Together we can make a difference and protect our communities from these dangerous individuals who are criminal minded. Remember to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more thought-provoking content. Together, let's reclaim peace and security for Jamaica one step at a time. Taking down criminals in the dancehall industry. Joining me in the fight for justice. I am excited to share a critical mission. As a fearless public informant on YouTube, I am determined to work alongside Serpy in 2024. Together, we'll expose the criminals and their constituents in the dancehall industry, seeking justice for the victims. One particular case needs urgent attention involved the tragic death of your dear friend from Augustown, allegedly caused by Adonai and, and his associates. I implore on you, join me in this fight by providing any information about these individuals. We aim to gather concrete evidence vitally notifying the State Department to revoke their visas just like they have their group lobbying for them. We can too take actions. Let's unite for a better Jamaica by targeting these conspirators who have been responsible for the man's untimely demise as we as well as others. By doing so we can ensure that they face the consequences of their actions and are stripped of their future earnings. We are also seeking information on Skeng and his close associate, Termite. Every details count. This journey of exposing the truth will be challenging, but our collective effort can make a tremendous impact. We have the power to transform the dancehall industry, holding the players accountable for their involvement in criminal activities. In this crucial fight for the injustice and together we can create a safer and brighter future for Jamaica. Take advantage of this opportunity to be a part of something meaningful. Stay informed, stay vigilant and let's make a difference. Remember, if you haven't subscribed to the Jamaica Young Police channel and you have reached this far, yes, please consider subscribing. Yes, give the video a thumbs up. Yes, there's no like button on YouTube that is misinformation. Yes, it's a thumbs up button. So once you give the video a thumbs up, you'll be able to reach others on YouTube. Yes, you know, by, you know, making the a log uh, a logarithm, um, spread the video so others can receive it. You know, knowledge is power. Knowledge kept to yourself is no knowledge at all. No man is an island, no man stands alone. So just remember that. Yes. Share the video, share the video with a friend, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, your neighbor, yes, your boss, your grandma, your grandfather, your cousin, your niece, your man, even your ex-boyfriend or your ex-girlfriend, yes. And tell a friend, to tell a friend that, hey, Jamaica Young Police Channel is a channel that hate criminals with a passion and rather the criminals to go to the departure lungs than to the than per prison. Yes, because we don't believe in a feeding lazy people, you understand? We believe in a, yeah, forgive lazy, lazy people, a direct flight. Yeah, man, one way ticket, non refundable, straight to the departure lounge. If you haven't joined the Patreon channel as yet, the movement, yeah, join the Patreon channel. Yeah, join it, and you'll be able to see videos that you can't see on YouTube due to YouTube's rules, regulations, and laws that govern your platform which we use as a way to convey our message to you and others. Remember to share the video. So moving on. So, you know, this message is directed to Sir P. Sir P, we know that the 32 year old, Nigel Walford, you know, you seeking justice for Meech, unveiling the truth behind his tragic demise. 
in this riveting video, Tykin's tycling, seeking justice from each, unveiling the truth behind the tragic demise, we address a heartbreaking incident involving Nigel Walsford, also known as Meech, a close friend and acquaintance of Serpy. We share his intense desire for justice to prevail and for meet untimely death at the hands of various individuals, including those residing in the United States of America, to be thoroughly investigated by the federal authorities. Your man and then send them straight to where they depart along our workhouse. We well, you know them go our house in America, they work. So we invite you to join us in our collective pursuit of truth and justice by shedding light on these criminals, beneficiaries and producers. Let's empower the feds to conduct the necessary investigation to all these responsible individual accountable. Walford's memory deserves nothing else than justice being served. Our video examines the intricate details of Walford's tragic demise, demise, revealing shocking findings that will leave you both informed and inspired. We aim to raise awareness and channel our efforts towards achieving justice from each and countless victims of similar circumstances. Stay tuned as we delve deeper into the web of deception surrounding this case, exposing the truth and demanding justice for Walford. Together we can bring hope to Jamaica and beyond. Join us in, on this impactful journey as we navigate the pursuit of justice, ensure that the legacy of Nigel Walford endures. Remember to share the video, yeah man, and spread the word about this important cause. Let's make a difference and honor Nigel Walford's memory together. And stay engaged as we fight for justice. Together we can create a better and safer Jamaica. So this is the first time we here, we highly recommend subscribing to stay updated with our latest content. Hit the subscription button above. Click the bell icon and select all to receive notification whenever we release a video at the Jamaica Young Police Channel. Remember to give this video a thumbs up if you find it helpful and informative. Despite some misinformation, it is important to clarify that there is no like button on YouTube. So please use the thumbs up button to show your support. On the other hand, if you choose to hit the thumbs down button, we kind of request that you reconsider as it helps us to understand your concerns better. But if you do hit the thumbs down button, that means you're a criminal supporter and you should not be over here because we already stated that in the intro that this channel is not for criminal minded people but for law abiding citizens. So moving on. So by joining the Patreon squad, you'll gain access to exclusive content that cannot be played on YouTube due to various restrictions. To unlock this on top collection of videos, click the link in the description box below. Join our Patreon community, allow you to explore content that complies with laws, rules and regulations while avoiding disruption to the channel's functionalities. Thanks for your continued support. We look forward to providing you with exceptional content. Remember to click the subscription button and the bell icon and select all for the best experience. Join the Patreon squad now and let the journey together in exclusive videos. So you know that, um, yeah, blogger Nigel Walford, they call him, you know, Big Meat, you know, killed in Spanish Town. And, you know, we have listened to Sir P on so many occasions, you can hear the hurt in his voice. I don't know if you had met him personally, but you can know that they have a very close relationship. I know it feel I know I know it feel how to lose someone very close. And the last time I um, apart from I especially with violence. The last time I have lost Yes, the last time I have lost someone to violence that was very close to me, that was twenty three years ago. Yes, going to, it's going it's over twenty three years ago and I can tell you that, that that pain trust me that morning when I received that call from um Detective Carp Detective Blake, I can tell him and I have never feel that felt 
so such hurt until I received that call. Yes, my best friend, the guy that of all of the police officers them throughout the years, this guy was the closest guy to me. Yes. And that's how it is. We understand. So blog and social commentator Nigel Walford was killed on Friday, March 3rd, 2023 in Spanish town St. Catherine. Another man is nursing gunshot wound at, the, at a hospital. The police confirmed the shooting in Red Pond in the parish. Reporter Walford was getting into a taxi in Red Pond shortly after 11 a.m. when armed men approached him and opened fire. The taxi driver was also injured during the incident. So, you know, look, let me tell you this now. In most communities, not most, every community where you have these killings, it's just like even the killing of Romeo and Maraj. You have to understand, you know, it has to be someone close by who made the telephone call to the other person to, for them to kill the other person. And you know, nine out of ten times it is done by a woman. What kind of joy do you get for someone to kill another person? How do you feel to know that you are the person who made that call? I'm wondering if these people think of their actions. Because what they're doing, they're, that they're destroying lives. They're destroying even their lives because they have to live with that for the rest of their lives. Knowing that their conscience, if they have a conscience, is going to ride them. Knowing, knowing that they are the one that responsible for the death of this person. You understand? So they know that where um, Nigel Walford was going and somebody close to him give him up. For what? For money? Because if this, this man had known, this man had known even before then that his life, that he was a mark man for death by Adonai and others. Because Adonai had, had, had um, stated at a dance or a stage where he had another guy that um, Sir P is going to dead. Some people send it to me and say, ah, Sir P. Sorry, Pete, but look, uh, you know, I know that I'm, I don't want that many people from who have known me over the years, you know, from from my days in Clarendon, St. Elizabeth Hunsby, that call me Sir P. But, you know, we don't, um, we're not trying to wrestle anyone for a name or anything like that. Sir P. had politics watch is using that, so we use our full name. But we know that most of you who knew us, who knew us from back then, you know, we're thinking that it's us, but it's not. I mean, we are, you know, most people do not know. We know that this is we, authentic and real, not a fake. Anyone who knows and say that we are fake or we are putting on a show, yeah, man, let's come and tell the world because this is us. This is me. Never change. Yes. So, moving on. So, the taxi driver... The taxi driver was also injured during the incident. Both men were taken to the hospital where Walford was pronounced dead. The 32 year old Walford goes by the social media, Monica Meach. He has, a, he has regularly expressed views and news on current affairs on several social media platforms, including Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, including strident views regarding laws and policing in Jamaica. The Campion College alum, alumni also created a moderately, moderate popular Instagram site, August 876. Walford was born and raised in Augustown. However, he has been living outside of the community in recent years after being dragged before the courts in recent, year, recent years on cybercrime related issues. He was detained in April 2020 by detectives assigned to the counter terrorism and organized crime investigation branch, CTAC. He was eventually released on bail after being detained for several days. After subsequent court appearance, the case was dropped in December 2022. So King Council Volunita represented him. So you know that this man was killed because of the work he was doing. So you have to understand you know, as we have stated before, for criminals to be successful, they have to get the, the silence from the people 
who are our witnesses. Some people have contacted us and said that they are reluctant to become um, um, witnesses due to the fact that um, the system favours the criminals. Yes, and you know, and the thing is that you know most people would like if the system was designed that when somebody is convicted for murder, that person will stay there for the rest of their life. And because the system that was so generous to these murderers, that's why people, most of the murders, not clearing up, because most of the people not going to testify in court because they know that the murderer, not only can the murderer stay in prison and plot against their lives, but the murderer will be coming out after a certain period of time. That goes to show you that like, people's lives in Jamaica have no value. We at the Jamaica Young Police and I would like to see some serious changes to our country. And as we said, we just need all and on deck, all hands. So RPL one cannot do it, and Jamaica Young Police Channel cannot do it. As we stated before, and we continue to say again, we know where the problem lies. And it doesn't lie with these guys who have these rifles and handguns. It lies with the 63 people who are in Parliament. But I'm telling you, the day of reckoning is near, nearer than they think. But we'll address that later and let you guys know. Have yourself a beautiful day. And before we go, Sir P, so this is just an invitation to you. Not to work collaborative on YouTube. Just to work covertly behind the scenes to deal with these people with their visa problems so that we can submit the necessary information for them to lose their visas. That's it. So that we can take away the money from them. Once you take away the money from them, then it will help make them become impotent. So that's it, my brother. Have yourself a beautiful day. And to all my friends, viewers, subscribers, and Patreon members, have yourself a beautiful day. Jamaica, Young Police Channel, out.